Hey everyone, this is Dr. Walker. We are starting Unit 2. And this first video to 28 is electric current. So let's start this off with a question. How is this possible? Each bulb is equally bright. So you've probably seen Christmas lights. And have you ever wondered why they don't become more and more dim as the charges pass through? So please put your thoughts in the comments below. This brings up the topic of electric current. Electric current is defined as the rate at which your charges flow. So the charges per time, Q is charge, time is T, and the current, we use the letter I. And the unit for current is called the ampere. We usually abbreviate amp, and the letter is A. And then one more note about the direction of current is that it's defined to be in a direction that positive charges would flow. Now, we know that it's really the negative charges or the electrons that are moving. So in this picture here, we see a positive plate, a negative plate, and we know that the negative charges would move up towards that positive plate. That's really the way that the charges are flowing. But convention is to look at the way positive charges would be flowing. So positive charges would flow down towards a negative plate. So the direction of current is going to be in the direction of the movement of the positive charges, even though in reality, the electrons are moving in the opposite direction. Let's look at this question here. Every minute, 120 coulombs of charge flow through this cross-section of the wire. What is the current in the wire? So pause the video, think about it for a second. Let's take a look. We are given the charge, that's Q, and the time is a minute. We can call it delta T. Again, we'll call it delta Q or just Q. Delta T or just T. The time is a minute, but time must be in seconds. So the time is going to be 60 seconds. The charge is going to be 120 coulombs. So the current is the charge per time. So it's going to be 120 divided by 60. So it's going to be 2 amps. That's coulombs per second is amps. So that is a current in the wire. Let's look at the next part here. The law of conservation of current. So this basically answers the question about the Christmas lights, but if you have a water turbine here, you can see the water entering and then it flows through the turbine and then the same amount of water leaves the turbine as the amount of water that entered. So it's the same thing with your current or your flow of charges. As the charges flow through a light bulb, the same number of charges is going to flow out of the light bulb. So what we're saying with the law of conservation of current is that charge does not get used up by a bulb. The total amount of charge stays constant. Let's look at one final question for this section. It says, the discharge of a capacitor lights the figure. Compare the brightness of the two bulbs. So think about it for a second and let's take a look. So first of all, we have a capacitor, so we have two plates. So which way is the current going? Well, we've defined a current as the flow of positive charges. So we know that the positive charges would go, would move clockwise towards that negative plate. So that's the direction of the current. So which bulb is brighter? Well, we just learned conservation of current. The charge doesn't get used up. As the charges flow through bulb two, then they're going to flow through bulb one, and then they're going to reach the plate. So the same amount of charge flows through each bulb. They're both going to be the same brightness. So that's it for this section. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next section.